Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another live streamed session of our Suzerain playthrough. Very excited for today's session, as I am for each session of Suzerain. Honestly, this game is so special. It does so many wild things. I don't think I can uh, ever grow tired of it. It's, uh, it's It's been quite the ride, and I think the ride continues today as we try and make some friends. Last session, as I jokingly said in the Discord, was all about internal affairs. Of course, I meant uh, the uh, the household affairs. <laughs> um, I think Monica's doing okay. I, I don't think she's planning on divorcing us just quite yet, but uh, moving away from, from internal affairs, this session is going to at least start off largely about external affairs as we deal with, um, well, hopefully uh, alliances. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, I don't know how else to... I don't want to say deal with alliances because that sounds a little too, uh, you know, definite. Sounds a little too, like, for shoresies, which uh, I would say is the opposite of what I'm expecting. You know, I also just want to point out, you know, you're, when you're 30 seconds uh, 30 seconds late to start the stream, everyone's like, you're late. But today we started a minute early. I don't, I don't see anybody saying anything about that. Started a whole minute early. <laughs> I thought it was funny that I was uh, actually ready to go uh, <laughs> uh, on time, air quotes for once. Air quotes because, we, as we all know, a streamer is never late. They arrive precisely when they end up. How's everybody doing? I hope you all have had a wonderful, wonderful week behind you. I hope you have exciting weekends ahead of you. A warm welcome to all of y'all joining us right off the bat on this uh, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous Friday that we're having at least over here in Toronto. We got a nice, comfortable 16 degrees Celsius after weeks of like 30 plus, feels like 40 with humidity and all. Oh my god, it's beautiful. I hope y'all are having uh, just a, a glorious day as well. But a warm welcome to Jazzy B, Natalie P, Ted Knight, Classified, Wickles, how's it going? Thomas, how goes, buddy? How goes? Addy Naruto, hope you're having a good time. And Spindle, how's it going, man? Enjoying your new time zone? How's uh, how's it feeling? How's uh, how's everything vibing? You you uh, looking forward to the uh, the weekend? What's the achievement you missed? Um, what was the achievement we got? Let me uh, let me let me take a quick look over here. Uh, oh yeah, the the uh, it was it was shh, it, like the hushing sound, and it was uh, f uh forming the secret state police. I thought we did that a while ago though, didn't we? Oh no, I guess I guess it only was made because we gave the directives last session, so I guess it was only made official uh, last uh, last session. Uh, so yeah, that's the uh, that's the one we got. Yeah, your Friday is here, eh? You're 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 well into the future. Your Friday is here. Enjoy the weekend. <laughs> Ren, how's it going, buddy? How's it going? A lot of work and summer holidays and family, Thomas. That's been your last uh, little while. Late by your clock? Sorry, what was that, Ted Knight? What did I miss? Oh, is your is your clock uh, running a little fast, or is that would that be slow? I've, I've always it's always weird, isn't it? Fast versus slow on a clock. It's like the opposite of what you expect it to be if I recall correctly. Anyway, let's get this party started, shall we? Let's dive on in. At least take a look at the map and uh, and, and get ourselves going. I'm 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 really curious about how today's gonna play out. So again, just as a very 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 quick uh, uh, recap. Last session, we, uh, yes, dealt with uh, Monica's not just ludicrous ask. We, you know, came to the, the consequences of her uh, trying to, to use her nepotism. You know, her, her I, I still, it, it still bothers me that she's okay with, uh, with nepotism. Uh, I was actually talking to a buddy of mine the other day who has also played Scizorane. Um, and, and we were talking about how uh, he was like, um, man, Monica's ask is so unfair. It, it almost feels, uh, you know, like out of character. And, and, and I totally agree. It's so unfair how she like pulls that on you. But like we, she's it. It, it really cements her character. Like she's not a good person either. Because remember, when she asks us to make that speech, literally seconds before that, she asks us to use our presidential sway to get her friend her job back. I was like. The more I think about that, the more I'm just like, you know, yeah, yeah, Monica, she's got, you know, she's not, she's no angel. She's no angel. She might be our angel, but from like a generic perspective, she's no angel. Uh, but that all came to sort of a, 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 a head, I would say, last time uh, at the uh, Festival of Benfi, where she took issue with what uh, the, you know, pre-approved person was saying. Uh, we had to hush her. We had to try and calm her down, and then she was all upset about the, what the papers were saying. Ah, oh, the melodrama. Yeah, y'all know what I was talking about. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. But uh, we, I think we talked her off the ledge. I don't think she's planning on divorcing us anytime soon. Though she was a little upset at the um, 
at, at, at what she considered to be a lack of support, not realizing that the, that's a two-way street. Uh, and then beyond that, uh, we had a conversation with uh, less volatile people, and that is to say our uh, armed forces, or at least the people in charge of our armed forces. Uh, somehow that ends up being a less volatile conversation. Uh, but we started distributing the, um, the, 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 the budget for our military, and then shortly thereafter we had the conversation with... Uh, I keep forgetting his name. Uh, do I have his name in the notes? Carl. Carl Greaser. Carl Greaser. Uh, it's one of those things. You, know, you, you see the first name and immediately that last name comes to mind. Carl Greaser. He was uh, he was very forthcoming with a lot of very interesting information. And uh, we actually have a couple of investigations going on. Well, uh, I, I, I believe we decided to, to focus on... Um, oh, interesting. It's not actually mentioned here. Did we not pick a uh, focus of investigation for Carl Greaser? I believe we sent him after our opposition parties because we were like, well, if we're going to be despotic, then that's the most fitting. We had the option to try and cut the puppet master's strings as well uh, with the uh, with Chief Hawker. Uh, but so it was either we investigate Chief Hawker or we investigate, um, I believe, uh, what's his name, the, the the media, you know, moguls and stuff, and, and that would that would get us in trouble. One of the options was one that would potentially get us in trouble as well. And then of course, oh no, it was. Uh, What's his name? Tuscan stuff, I think, right? And then there was the uh, the option to uh, to investigate our opposition parties. Now, if we're a despot <laughs> and we want to retain control, the best way to retain control is to make sure there are no opposition parties. We're a one-party system, baby. Everybody else is going to have to deal with it. So hopefully that ends up working out. But then today, uh, we're going to be dealing with, yes, external affairs. We've got uh, two conversations to deal with, one at Agnolia and one down at Wellen. And I'm not sure if we're gonna get either of those alliances. I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I feel as I feel like I feel like we need to if we're so full of pride, right? What are we willing to give up? With Wellen, I feel like buddying up with Wellen, even though we might agree with them and what they're doing with regards to eradicating a uh, a terrorist menace, even though we agree with them on that, we have to consider our image, right? As a despot, again, one thing you always have to care about is your image. What do uh, people think of you because that's what determines how successful you'll be your your actions your morals all that stuff is hidden behind a veneer and what is that veneer I don't think we can actually buddy up with Wellet uh, with Agnolia exactly what Spindle is saying give up there is no give up yeah like are we willing to are we willing to surrender anything to Agnolia I mean maybe we we, went, we might try and give them slightly more uh, lucrative uh, deals here and there uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll ally with them against the scum that is Volksland, of course. But let's hope they don't get too pushy, because then we're going to have some trouble, you know. And and without allies, we might have even more trouble with Roomberg. But I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, uh, cut off my what is it? Cut cut off my nose to spite my face? Is that is that the saying? And yet, I feel like that's exactly what we're about to do with both of these conversations. Classified, coming through with that super chat. Thank you very much, buddy. One party system, that party is elite. You're damn right, you're damn right. I wonder if we can actually establish a one party system. <laughs> I said it out loud just randomly, but I wonder if that's actually a thing we can do. Classified, thank you very much for that super chat, buddy. Again, and as always, as you very well know, really helps support the channel, really helps support the streams, keeps it all sustainable. So thank you very, very much for that. Uh, and yeah, let's, let's, let's see if we can't establish a one-party system. Thor, how's it going, buddy? Glad you can make it. Flesson 19, Averon, God of Fire. How goes? How goes? Uh, gonna take a quick look at chat over here. You know, this is... I wish I wish it was by default. I don't blame him. You know, it's in the indie game and all that kind of stuff. And I'm sure it's probably more trouble to program than it actually looks like. But I wish every time I move the mouse over to look at chat, it didn't, like, scroll the map over as well, you know? Anyway, uh, or zoom when I'm scrolling up and down chat. Uh, Spindle, your motherboard arrived? Alright, glad to hear that, man. Uh, are you going to be building it this uh, weekend, I assume? Oh, you're building it right now. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Good stuff. I hope it all works out. That's the that's the downside of, of putting a computer together. <laughs> all those uh, parts potentially, like needing to, needing to just... Just the stress level. It's very simple to do. Putting a computer together is very simple to do, especially nowadays. Everything snaps into place, but I always get stressed out, especially when popping RAM into place. I'm just like, how hard is too hard? What'll break first, the motherboard or the um, or the RAM stick? Uh, Nick asks, remember when you had 30k subs and did Warhammer 2 Battlecasts? We're still waiting. Yeah, I'm still waiting for Total War Warhammer 3. I'm still waiting for, uh, you know, <laughs> Total War to let us know anything about Total War Warhammer 3. I guarantee, I, could, I would put money down. I would put money down that they're going to postpone it to next uh, next year. 
and I would guess it would be like a spring break release, so like a like a March kind of a Q1 kind of a thing. I would put money down, but I was like for the last like you know six, seven, eight months now, I'm like, like yeah, I, like I needed to freshen up with like all new factions all at once and kind of that kind of stuff. So I was excited for Warhammer Three to drop. Hopefully, you know, I was thinking September, and I dive back into the battle cast and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, but I, I'm, I'm a little worried we're gonna be waiting a little bit longer. But don't worry, it's one of my favorite stuff to produce, so I do intend to bring it back. I just you know. I want to make sure I don't start and then immediately get demotivated. I know that I need uh, I need some of those you know new factions and stuff in there uh, to, to just uh, get my head kind of back in 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 the game at, at like a hundred percent. When I say back in the game, I mean the game of casting, not the game itself. <laughs> Natalie P. That's still one of my uh, I love girls just want to have fun. The mental rights is still one of my favorite like sp spins on on, on 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 a referential comedy. I love it. <laughs> Making sure I caught up with everybody. Looks like I am. We ready to ruin most lives for some people. Hell yeah, everyone. Uh, it's on there as the second option. Sorry, Jazzy, what's that uh, in reference to? Oh, you, oh, you mean our uh, our choices with the uh, the secret police? Yes, yes, yes. Add your laptop RAM broke without you even touching it. I swear. Mm. <laughs> I was believing you until I saw the I swear. Got a nice uh, nice crowd today. How's everybody doing? Alicia, hey hey. Glad you can make it. I think I caught everybody. Hathor, I believe I caught you as well. How's it going, buddy? And M. Hussein. Yes, let's go indeed. Uh, taking parts with you across the Atlantic and finding a broken motherboard, hence the new one, is anxiety-inducing. Yes. Have you... Uh, did you... You didn't ship it yourself, did you? You moved it through, like, a cargo ship or something? Because I've... Uh, I've Again, as some of you will know, I've moved uh, fairly often, and I've had the good fortune of never having to deal with that. Uh, spindle. <laughs> Very fortunate. Mouse click, how's it going? I wonder if we'll get a sequel to this, even to the game, like uh, Suzerain 2. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, the devs have hinted at there being more that they're planning on doing in uh, in this world, in this universe, so I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if yes. Let's go ahead and start with Agnolia. I almost feel like Wellen will be the easier conversation, just because we kind of know we don't really want to deal with them. A rogue state isn't likely to make you very rich either, so that's another thing to consider. So let's start with Agnolia. Why don't we start with a, with a difficult conversation, uh, and then we can uh, we can we can kind of roll with the punches with the uh, the, the next uh, next conversation. So Agnolia, let's uh, make our way over for these trade talks with the Prime Minister. Now, what's interesting here as well is that uh, things are a little different from our last playthrough. In our last playthrough, we uh, we didn't really find out about the alliance conversation until after we'd actually met with the Prime Minister. But this time around, the alliance conversation is already on the table. So I wonder how how different. Uh, this conversation is going to be compared to our previous playthrough. Uh, taking a look at chat real quick. Yeah, I have some. I have some plans actually to change how I look at at, at, at chat, but it requires a bit of a financial in, in, in investment that I'm going to hold off on. But I, I'm I've grown tired of having to scroll on chat and then it's scrolling my zooming my my uh, <laughs> my screen. Not just for this game either. It does it for Phantom Brigade and others too. Well, good luck, Spindle. Let us know when you finally hit the uh, the power button if it boots up properly. Can we just get nukes and be a hermit state? Um, you know, I I don't know. Nukes. This is the era of nukes beginning to spread. We know there are nukes out there. Uh, I don't know if we can get them. I'm actually curious if we can get them. I don't think so. I think we're a little too uh, pacifist. I was gonna say behind, but no, no, we're not behind. We're just pacifists. We haven't invested in that technology. Swordland 1's flight from Halsort to Stalport took three hours, but went very smoothly. We were about to touch down. David left his seat and came over while Simon was enjoying his new paper, newspaper. Looks like we're about to land, Mr. President. I looked outside. I could see Helgeland, the island in between Vauxland and Agnolia. So many conflicts over a small piece of land. The island can barely sustain itself without outside help. Oh, come on, David. It's a strategic location. You know this. <laughs> uh, I know I was just in the same thing. If I was in the shoes of the Ignolian Prime Minister, I would do anything to protect the motherland. I don't blame them. It's a very strategic position. Okay, I literally I literally said that. I, I think three is the way to go over here. It's true, though. It is a strategic position. It's like, I understand it might be a nothing parcel of land, but you don't just, <laughs> you don't just see territory like that. Put all the budget to nuke research. I feel like we'd regress if we put our budget into nuclear research. You know, we'd like, we'd unresearch. We'd unlearn nuclear physics if we put what's left of our budget into <laughs> into nuclear science. Roomberg already is that hermit state. Yeah, I guess Roomberg doesn't really have allies, does it? Right? I guess not. 
exactly how though we're not behind we're just taking our time rabbit and the hare right we're just taking our time rabbit and the hare, rabbit and the tortoise man i'm still waking up it's it's 10 10 15 in the morning over here i saw some of y'all talking about tea and it's like i haven't had mine yet i won't have mine until the stream's done <laughs> god sergio how's it going buddy glad you can make it and seal tith how goes how goes sink helgeland diplomatic issue solved you know what i like it i like it i like it let's do it <laughs> i don't blame them it is in a very strategic position certainly if you have helgeland that means you're in control of the whole valgos channel i suspect it will be one of the topics that mr van horten will bring up as a bargaining chip but we must be careful Helgeland might be under the control of Agnolia, but the international community is yet to recognize it. For a good reason, too. Nobody wants to make an enemy of Vogsland, especially because of the support of United Contana and CSP. Um, I mean, I don't care for Vogsland. Vogsland, the, them, United Contana, CSP, they're, 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 they're nobody. I've thought of a rather offensive thing that CSP could stand for. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I don't, uh, uh, I don't care who we're against. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I, I'm not going to talk about my relationship with Vauxland. I care not for Vauxland. So I don't care who we're against. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Two rabbits, the classic story. <laughs> yeah, Wickles, the other rabbit in the hair. Yeah, yeah, I guess my mind's on Elizabeth, I suppose. I know, Natalie, I know, but uh, I don't know, the morning rush is, is not ideal circumstances for, uh, for a cup, you know? Joshua, choose number two. Nah, I don't know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pretend like I care about, uh, about Vauxland and, and who they are. Exactly, Jasby. Damn, Reds. <laughs> Go red and lose your head. <laughs> we should try to look at the bigger picture. Simon folded his newspaper, got up from his seat and sat right next to us. Aside from the point of Helgeland, we need to be careful with the additional requests. According to the deal that was negotiated so far, they want to sell us their steel for a higher price, and they're requesting easier access to our agricultural market. In return, they're promising cash flow and investments, especially in the Agenland region. It's not hard to guess why. Precisely. Agnolian immigrants in our Agenland region make up a good chunk of the region's economy now. During the initial negotiations, they've brought up the topic of immigration many times. Our job will be harder because of our new tightened immigration laws. Let's see if we can shake hands on it. See, I'm really hoping, because again, immigration, the way immigration policies work is they are uh, also typically on a per nation or region basis. You, you don't make a blanket policy. Sometimes you can, but you also can make specific policies. Blessing19, thank you very much for joining in as the latest channel member Appreciate it greatly, buddy. Again, that kind of stuff really helps support the channel and the streams and everything. So thank you so very much uh, for that support. It's beautiful to see all those flags and E's going up right off the bat. Natalie, Ted, Jazzy, Sergio, Halthor. I love it. I love it. A warm welcome to our latest night, folks. Please, those E's, those banners, throw them up. A warm welcome to our latest. Uh, wish I could do more, but my revenue buddy don't even flash don't even i appreciate it so much honestly even just being here is 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 so greatly appreciated thank you so much don't uh, forget to hit me or one of the grand arbiters up in the discord as well to make sure we can assign you your role youtube and uh, and, and discord sometimes don't communicate about role changes uh so don't don't hesitate to hit us up uh and and and, and, and we'll get you that uh, role in the discord as well again thank you so much buddy thank you so much Yes, love to see those flags go up. There it is, there it is. Love to see those E's go up. I love it. <laughs> oh no, Wickles, now I have that stuck in my head. No, I have a... Uh, oh man, what's his name? Uh, just one girly at this tourney, and it's kill or be killed. Dungeon Master was a bastard. Oh man, what's the, what's the guy's name? Uh, baby Cakes, Baby Cakes. If you don't know Baby Cakes, look up Baby Cakes. It's sad baby cakes doesn't make uh, videos anymore. Alright. Instructions unclear. How goes, buddy? How goes? Uh, Joshua, yes, this playthrough, we are a despot. We're a traditionalist despot. Uh, so we are being rather aggressive. We're being... We, we gotta be careful because we don't want to die. Even though that's probably gonna happen. Uh, but we do have to make the right friends. And, and going buddy-buddy with, uh, with the communists is not a good way to be a... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? 
a, a corrupt official. There's no money to be made there. <laughs> There's no money to be made there. All right, the pilot made an announcement that the descent had started. David and Simon went back to their seats. I took another look outside the window, and I could see Stallport, the capital city of Magnolia. The large dockyards of the city and the canals appeared closer as our descent continued. Stallport was certainly a fitting name due to stall, meaning canal. A couple minutes later, we finally touched down. The plane parked, and I took a final look out from the window. The welcoming ceremony from Magnolia was waiting along the red carpet outside. After the guards made their way out, I exited the plane. Yeah, we'll wave at the crowd. We'll, we'll, again, we're, we're the friendly foreign dignitary, right? Wave at the crowd. I waved at the crowd that gathered. There were many camera flashes. I started to make my way downstairs. Prime Minister Van Horten was nowhere in sight. Instead, I was greeted by the foreign minister. An insult, to be sure. After handshakes and a couple of photos, I moved to the car where Serge was waiting to make our way to the office of the Prime Minister. Okay, I forgot about the insult, I'll be honest. I, I, I did forget that uh, Mr. Van Horten here doesn't show up to greet us. That's not a small dig either, by the way. That's, not, that's no small, you know, issue. And we would definitely take that personally. I do wonder, I do wonder if we shouldn't, because uh, like with our previous playthrough especially, we gave Van Horten his photo op. We gave him his handshakes and hugs and all that nonsense. I feel like, uh, I feel like we take this personally and, you know, not, um, not, uh, not play along as much this time around. Uh, I feel like a despot's aim should be personal riches. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. But I feel like also at the same time, um, we want to make sure we can retain control, not necessarily through uh, 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 democratic means, <laughs> but we want to make sure we can retain control. And part of that means making the right friends so that A, we can, yes, line our pockets, but also B, our country doesn't get, uh, you know, annexed or, or anything like that. <laughs> that would not be uh, ideal. Um, oh, oh, yeah, Ted, I was, I was, I was kind of being facetious with my statement about, uh, about the wealth uh, options. <laughs> Though I don't think we'd see it that way. I don't think Anton would see it that way. I think he'd definitely see the benefits of having friends like Walter Tusk uh, and, and having them, you know, line your uh, your pockets. Oh my god, Ren. <laughs> what great use of the, the banner there. <laughs> uh, classified, I would take it personally. Don't you send a second fiddle when I come to see you. Hey, precisely that, yeah. I don't like this, Mr. Van Horten. Know your place. Good day, sir. I hope the flight was comfortable. Yes, it was. Thank you, Serge. I got in the car, and we made our way through the foreign streets. Our convoy was protected by Swordish and Agnolian guards in their vehicles. We began driving by the highway beside the port, and saw dozens of dockyards and ships anchored. Some of the ships and machinery looked old. <laughs> ha! Pathetic. The city itself looked very gray and grim. The buildings had a touch of Rumberg's famous Monarchian architecture, with a mixture of Swordish signature domes on the older ones. We were now on the main road to the office of the Prime Minister. Looks like they're not too happy to see you, sir. Serge pointed at the crowd that gathered on both sides of the street. It was a protest. They were shouting and yelling at our convoy. Some of them held signs written in Swordish. Go home, rain. We don't want autocrats in Agnolia. You know, I never knew Agnolians were so ungrateful. Not everyone sees a great leader like you every day. What the hell, man? What's all this about? What's all this about? Marcus, how's it going, buddy? Glad you can make it. Good morning to you as well. I hope you're having a beautiful, beautiful Friday. I sure am. I'm excited for this weekend. We got some good, uh, we got some good weekend plans. We got, a, we, we got a, an accent wall to paint. We got some more unpacking to do, some furniture to get sorted. I'm excited for this weekend. It's slow, but it's happening. Slowly getting settled into the new place. You know, now that the renos are behind us, we can actually start doing some of the other stuff without worrying about drywall dust and tile dust being over everything. <laughs> so I'm having a wonderful Friday, Marcus. Hope you're having one too. Uh, we're a very aggressive bunch in chat today. Indeed, Natalie, indeed. <laughs> Damn Aggies. <laughs> you know, I like that. that. That sounds just derisive enough. Aggies. I like it. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a dark... Um, it's, like a, it's like a slate gray accent wall. And we're going to have um, a really nice uh, wooden shelving like attached right to the wall. It's going to look... 
not 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 super rustic, but it's gonna have that rustic feel. It's a very industrial looking space. It's a loft. It's a, it's a hard loft. It's like an actual loft loft. So it's a very industrial looking space already, and we're we're uh, we're, we're we're leaning into that because we love a good industrial look. Um, I wonder what propaganda their state is feeding them. There have been so many issues in Sodland. I don't know if I can call them. Uh, let's ignore that one. Let's not even finish reading that one. They can yell all they want. You're absolutely right. So ungrateful. I feel like one is uh, is the way to go. Look, one is the way to go. So ungrateful. We're just too full of ourselves to, to even care. You're absolutely right, Serge. So ungrateful. Ah, uh, damn, Ted. So I just saw your suggestion after I uh, after I clicked. Four. I don't even remember what four was. My bad. My bad. My bad. I should have should have waited a little bit longer first. Yeah, I'm hoping it is classy. I'm hoping it is classy. Wickles, Natalie. Go Humi Rain, we don't want autocorrect. Wait, what's going on there, classified? Health or it's uh, it's five o'clock somewhere, man. No judgment here. It sounds like a good time. It's five o'clock somewhere. You're absolutely right, Serge. So ungrateful. I know what it is. They're always scared of Swordland's potential. And now they're afraid that a lion heads Swordland. They're afraid of you. Not just that. But you're a man selfless enough that you would pay for your driver's children. A true leader, I dare say. Oh, Serge, you fool. How is little Anton doing? He's fine, sir. A strong boy. Taken after his namesake, for sure. The convoy started slowing down. We've arrived, sir. The car continued through the gates while the security vehicles went the other way. We finally came to a stop in front of the door. Serge left the car and opened the car door. I exited and began walking to the door where dozens of press and the Prime Minister were waiting for me. I saw the PM much more clearly as I neared the door. He was shorter than I thought. Mr. President, welcome to Agnolia and to the beautiful city of Stallport. Oh, God, I gotta be a diplomat. Good to see you, Martin, is, uh, is just rude enough, right? Because he just he called us Mr. President, we call him by his first name, put him in his place, right? 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 I say I don't know squat about decorating, clearly. <laughs> Why? Oh, what, like, what's, uh, what's, uh, what's an accent wall? Yeah, so it's, I, I guess it's already been explained, but yeah, it's like, one wall or one section that's painted differently it's a splash of color typically it contrasts your other spaces and it helps kind of like separate the space and draws attention to a certain space so because there's like shelving over here it's gonna have like our books and stuff on it and and, and records and stuff uh it's gonna look good it's gonna look good we'll probably share it on twitter when it's done i think this week we're painting it and the next week we're actually building the the shelving and then building a little uh reading nook next to it as well uh sorry i'm so excited to share but it'll be on like twitter and in the discord and stuff when we're when we're working on it Two, I feel some sarcasm from that line. You think so? I don't. I don't know. I feel like that's. Uh, I feel like that's being said through gritted treat, gritted teeth. Sorry, treeth? The hell is treeth? I got. Uh, I got trees on my mind. <laughs> uh, I feel like. I feel like that's. Uh, it's a. It's an attempt at being genuine. I feel like good to see you, Martin, is the most like. Uh, as Ted Knight says, it's perfect. It's just. Just demeaning enough. Put him down and in, and in, in his place, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure, Spindle, for sure. I will. It will be on the Discord too. Uh, yeah. Let's. Uh, yeah. Get to see you, Martin. <laughs> so rude. He reached out for a handshake. The press surrounding us had been waiting for this moment. Mm. I feel like we should overpower his handshake. You know, make really put him in his place. You, you, you did not meet me at the airport. You were not a part of the welcoming party. How dare you? Like, how embarrassing is that? He, he tried to embarrass us, and uh, well, I think we should return that favor, right? Uh, an eye for an eye never hurt anybody, I believe the old saying goes. Natalie, thank you very much, folks. If you don't actually follow me on Twitter and you're not in the Discord, links to both of those are in chat right now. The Discord's a fantastic place to just hang out as well. Um, I've been a little a more AWOL than intended this week, but that's because I've got some exciting stuff releasing literally right after this stream. Well, not right now, an hour after this stream, I guess, is over, and then also some exciting stuff coming next week, and it's just been keeping me foolishly busy. But uh, but the Discord's a fantastic place to hang out otherwise. <laughs> even even without me. Maybe even especially without me. <laughs> I love how it's a greeting that causes a meltdown here. Dude, for real. I mean, it's kind of funny how we looked past it in our previous playthrough, right? Can you walk past him, classified? Oh my god, I wish. <laughs> I wish we could just be like, yeah, let's, uh, let's go. 
David, how's it going, buddy? Having a wonderful, wonderful Friday, I hope. I'm having a beautiful Friday. I hope you have a good one as well, bud. Weekend coming up, I hope. Yeah, too bad put put hands in pockets isn't an option. Yeah, for real. Now let's let's overpower his handshake. Put him in his place. Let's make very clear the uh, the uh, the power balance here. I overpowered his handshake, and he got caught by surprise as the press took the picture of me having the upper hand. He smiled awkwardly. <laughs> oh, I feel so 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 mean. <laughs> Now, I know, if I just leave him hanging there so he could end up on, like, our cringe or something, yeah. <laughs> it's like a high five where one person puts the hand up and, and the other person doesn't even notice. Just leave him hanging. He gestured to the entrance of the 200-year-old parliament building. This way, please. We entered and the press followed us inside. I would like to present you with a gift as a sign of friendship in between our countries. An assistant showed up immediately with a large glass box in her hands. It contained a single parchment inside. This here is one of the first treaties written in between Swordland and Ignolia. May it mark the renewal of our friendship today as well. That's, it's actually a pretty good gift. I was wondering if he'd give us a different gift based on our treatment of him, but that, that's actually a, 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 decent, a decent gift. So, uh, thank you, I guess. After being so rude to me, he's just making a show over here. David, coming through with a super chat. Oh, I think I... I, I saw your I get your message now. He, here's another cup of tea. Thank you very much, David. I appreciate it greatly. I'll make sure to uh, to grab that uh, cup of tea or two with that. Thank you very much. I appreciate it again. As you very well know, super chats and all that kind of stuff really help support the channel, the stream, and everything. So I appreciate it greatly. But thank you very much. Thank you very very much. Spindle, that was well in character. Easy, we proud while overpowering his handshake. You mean? <laughs> Oh dear! Wasn't it a copy of the Constitution last time? I don't. No, no, no. I think it was. Uh, I think it was the same thing. I think it was a copy of the uh, the first treaty between the two nations, because that would be more kind of fitting to our like your current circumstances. Sounds good, David. I hope you can make it back before the uh, the stream is up today. Thanks for dropping by. Thanks for the super chat. Good luck with the Zoom meeting. Hopefully, it's a short and painless one. Never, never like Friday meetings. Come on, Friday. Everyone, everyone wants to chill on Fridays, and Mondays, and every other day of the week. Who needs meetings? Just do it, do it over email. <laughs> I think that's the gift we gave to Agnolia. Uh, the, uh, oh, maybe. Yes, I think the Constitution is the gift that we gave them. Question is, what do we give them this time? What do we give them this time? Uh, this is an amazing gift. Thank you. Very good. Maybe that's a little too much. Um, I, I'll, I'll compliment the gift. This is an amazing gift. Thank you. I, I think it's only fair to, to compliment the gift, right? We, we, we put him in his place, and now we, 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 you got to lift him up so you can put him back down. <laughs> Hallmark uh, <laughs> abusive relationship. God, it's terrible. This is an amazing gift. Thank you. Is he the one we can give a, a gift puppy? Yeah, I think so. Like, he doesn't like dogs or something, and we can give him a, a gift dog or something. Right? It slips my mind now. Uh, maybe I should have been a little bit ruder. I just feel like it's a nice time to like build him up a little bit. It's a it's a it's a platitude, right? It's like oh, this is an amazing gift. Thank you. Not his doing. He he knows that. He knows he didn't come up with this idea. It's his like minister of foreign affairs or something. Our photos were taken again. I gestured at one of my retainers who was holding our gift to the PM. Ah, uh, okay. Come on, folks. What do we do? We give him the puppy. Do we give him the puppy? I don't think we'll give him the constitution. Oh. So the thing about uh, the swordish steel is that steel is a sticking point in our conversation that's coming up. So in a way, the swordish steel is a bit more subtle, uh, whereas the puppy is a bit more in your face, right? Yes to puppy, sword, do it for the memes. So yes, give him the puppy. I see a couple calls for puppy. Ren, yes, puppy. Spindle, yes, puppy. I see one call for the sword. Sean, how's it going, buddy? <laughs> And a couple of a couple of calls for the puppy. I think we all uh, think we're all into uh, in, in, into dogs and and pups over here. Whether it's his gifts or his meals, health or <laughs> I like the steel says seal tip. I do like the little uh, the, 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 the 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 cutting of the steel as as a gift. But I who can say no to a puppy, right? 
Giving a puppy to someone who doesn't like dogs is a disservice to the puppy, though. Oh, Natalie's got to come through with the with the the hard hitting facts. She's spitting facts there. Well, we know that he's just gonna immediately after this meeting, he's gonna give that puppy up for like adoption or something, right? Or he's gonna gift it to one of his aides and 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 something like that. He's not gonna hold on to this puppy and then you know give it up for give it up after an attachment's been made. Oh God, you can see I'm working hard to justify this decision now. <laughs> Oh, I guess I, Party, would care about the puppy being heartbroken. Anton would probably care too, right? Oh, man. Man. Oh, honestly, yeah, Ren, exactly how I was feeling. My heart. <laughs> Damn it. Now this decision's become difficult. I think we might go with the puppy, though. Also, so how's it going, buddy? <laughs> Doesn't say hello uh, earlier, my bad. And this playthrough is a, it, it's a, it's a, it's a despot run. I don't know if uh, Dictator and Despot, I guess, often go hand in hand, but it is, it's, a, it's a darker run than our previous one, yeah. Yeah, okay, let's let's give him the puppy. I'm, I'm so torn, because uh, <laughs> that's such a good point. It's like, that puppy, poor puppy. Uh, now it hurts to click this, but I, I think I will. I think I will. I don't think uh, Anton would uh, would care so much. And I, I think we know it's going to be given to some some aid or the other. Oh my god, Sean, wait. Where did that come from? Disabling life support and surviving Mars. Where did that come from? <laughs> Our gift was a swordish bred puppy, despite Martin's known fear of dogs. Martin stepped backwards when the puppy howled. He was... He very uncomfortably held the dog in his hands and tried to smile at the reporters before putting the dog down on the floor. It's a puppy. Come on. The cameras flashed once again. Let's go to my office. Follow me. The first memes in this uh, in this fake world, the first memes out of uh, out of Swordland and and and, and um, Agnolia. <laughs> Let's go to my office. He says. All right. I followed him, and we entered the office of the prime minister. It was a room of wooden minimalist decoration. It was far more modest than I expected. We sat down. He leaned back and made himself comfortable. Sheesh. Thankfully done with the ceremonies. You're not fond of these ceremonies? Again, a bit of a traditionalist, right? So things like this, these are tradition. I think that's an extra reason why we'd be extra offended by him not being there to welcome us. There's a, there, there's a way these things need to be done. He wasn't there for it. That was definitely the wrong choice. Perfect, says Ted. Oh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> A swordish puppy to put an Aggie in his place. <laughs> Screw Martin. Yeah, I'll hope, we'll see. This might just make him even more aggressive, uh, aggressive to us, you know, against us. Need the option to say attack. Oh, for the for the dog. Yeah, stick him. Are you not fond of these ceremonies? I think they're a waste of time. But alas, that is one of our jobs. He got up from his chair and moved over to the bar. There are many varieties of liquor. Would you like a drink, Mr. Rain? Again, let's uh, let's humor him a little, right? Again, build him up, tear him down, <laughs> break his resolve. I wouldn't mind some magnolia and vodka. Ah, you know your drink. Yeah, I know it's easy to throw back because, you know, it's weak, uh, weak alcohol. He poured the drinks and gave mine to me before sitting down again. Straight to business, a true gentleman, I can respect that. Or what was a protest outside? Can't you control them? I don't know if I want to bring that up. <laughs> I feel like that might give him the upper hand right off the bat. Let's go straight to business, I'm thinking. <laughs> Drink it and spit it out, Ren. Yeah. <laughs> like over my shoulder. Uh, yeah, let's go straight to business. He doesn't like ceremonies? Fine, fair enough. Let's. First of all, I would like to say that I have been watching your recent changes to the immigration policy. We have worries about the new and tighter immigration laws. Immigrants are very important for beneficial economical development, and we believe that very much in Agnolia. I would definitely prefer Swordland to be welcoming to Agnolian citizens, and vice versa. Um, <laughs> ooh. Three seems a little too uh, pointed. I, I can just say the decision has already been made. See, two and three are both a little... Well, two is a little isolationist, and it's a little... Uh, uh, two is a little... What's the word I'm looking for here? 
it, 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 it creates an us and them feeling right off the bat in this conversation, even though that might exist. Uh, I, I, I don't want to bring that feeling... I don't want to escalate that feeling any more than it already clearly is. Uh, three is just being rude, and uh, he was rude to us, yes, but I feel like we've been fittingly rude back to him, uh, especially in public, and I think that was the most important part, <laughs> embarrassing him in public like he did to us. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll give the, the, the paper something to talk about. Um, so we don't need to say three. We don't have to, like, antagonize him further. The decision has already been made. There's nothing we can do about it now. So, you know, shut up and move on, I guess. Right. Uh, let's see. Spit in his face. Oh, dear. <laughs> Ignolians aren't blues. Yeah, we don't have to be, like, terribly rude to him. He's, again, he's not an enemy. This nation is one of our oldest allies. Uh, we do have to respect that, at least a little bit, right? So, uh, the decision has already been made. Unfortunate. He took a sip from his vodka. I know that you have declared a state of emergency. I'm so early into your presidency, too. So, tell me, how is that going? It's going well. We're limiting the threats one by one, internal and external. Yeah, I had no choice but to deal... Uh, with our issues in Swordland, that is none of your business. I feel like one is the way to go. You know, show confidence, uh, happy with our decision, no regrets. I had no choice makes it sound like Swordland's a hellhole and we had to pull the trigger. No, no, no. I mean, yes, that <laughs> that is the situation, but I had no choice is a little too desperate and, 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 and dark, I think. Carl, how's it going, buddy? Glad you can make it. <laughs> Morning, despots. <laughs> how's it going, bud? Hope you're having a good one. <laughs> Despot Carl reporting for duty. <laughs> going great, you should try it sometime. Yeah, for real. Yeah, it's going great. You should, you should do it every once in a while. All those protesters outside. Yeah. No, it's going well. We're eliminating the threats one by one. Internal and external. It is worrying that a state of emergency was declared right next to our borders. The reason I'm asking these questions is because I need to know if Swordland is a reliable trading partner. So tell me, Mr. Rain. Is Swordland a reliable trading partner to Agnolia? Not if you keep acting like you have the upper hand. Rude. Maybe not. Maybe a little too rude. As long as Ignolia is a reliable trading partner, that's more of the uh, the right balance of rude, if we want to be rude here. Or, of course, you can trust Swordland. Um, hmm. Oh, man. Some of these, like, between... Two, I, I think it's between two and three. I think one, again, we've, we've been rude to him in public. We've, we've made a fool of him. I think that's, uh, that's fair. We've, we've checked those boxes. I think now we need to kind of, like, build the relationship up a bit. And I feel like... Maybe... Ah, oh man. I, I, on, on the one hand, three might feel a little soft. Uh, but in my head, the tone is almost just like a, like I'm scoffing. You know, like, of course, Mr. Van Horten, you can trust Swordland. You know? That kind of thing. Okay, Percy, how's it going? Glad you can make it today. Having a good one, I hope. We got a jail to throw him in. <laughs> this uh, to the the prime minister of a, of a foreign nation just toss him in uh, at Antel Rock Prison. Why not? Why not? Yeah, I think he'll give us uh, he'll give us crap either way. But again, we're out we're out the public eye, so we can be a bit more uh, a bit softer on him. Of course, Mister Van Horten, you can trust Swordland. Very good. Oh, oh god, Sean. <laughs> There's an escalation if I've ever seen one. Ah, very good. Van Horten leaned back further into contemplation. So what's it going to be? Let's change the course of our nations. Are you going to talk all day about past deeds, or are we going to sign this deal? Uh, I, I kind of like let's change the course of our nations. Again, one of our oldest allies. So there should be a feeling of, like, let's work together. Uh, you know, this conversation, this meeting got off to a rocky start, but that doesn't mean... It needs to be a, a rocky finish, right? Let's change the course of our nations. Let's work together for a greater future for both of our nations. I'm afraid with all your actions so far, I'm not convinced that Swordland is the right partner for Agnolia. Swordland is simply too volatile. Elected politicians are getting killed in your country left and right. Not to mention the subsequent protests in between, well, the left and right. We were willing at first, however, the situation has changed. We do not have confidence in your state anymore. I'm sorry that you've come all this way for this. Are you... are you serious right now, buddy? Are you goddamn serious right now? 
Okay, look, listen, yeah, big oof. Like, are you, are you for real right now? Are you for real right now? I, I'm, I think I'm gonna go with one. You bring me here to ridicule me? You, you want? Wh wh what am I a joke to you? <laughs> I think time to invade, indeed. Yeah, what the hell is this nonsense? Oh, yeah, no. What did you bring me here to ridicule me? You could have easily. He could have easily uh, sent us a, a you know a diplomatic wire or 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 told our our our, our foreign minister that this isn't gonna fly. You bring me here to ridicule me? Of course not. Well then, he stood up from his chair. Well, we must continue the official program. As you know, we'll pay a visit to our founder's grave for another ceremony. Afterwards, we'll move on to the state dinner. I won't be joining. It's time we're on our way back home. I don't have time to waste on you. I have an actual nation to run. Wow. Wow. And not at all what I would have expected. I knew things were, were going to be a little rocky, like I said, but like this? Holy crap. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we'll be joining you. Thank you very much. It's time we're on our way back home. Make our displeasure well known. We're not going to get pushed around. I don't understand why... Uh, why... Uh, Streamlabs has been so funky lately. Tuesday was perfectly fine. We had no issues on Tuesday, but, uh, but it's acting up again today. I hope, I hope that was the last of it. Uh, I hope that was the last of it. Um, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Hell yeah, baby. He wants you to stay too. I don't. I. I. I can't. I cannot believe he would even like offer. He should have let us down after all the 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 niceties were done. You know, <laughs> because it's an Ignolian software. <laughs> God, we should really. We should. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder how we can teach them a lesson. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm not gonna follow him around like his like I was gonna say lap dog but you know he doesn't he wouldn't want a lap dog but I want to follow him around and uh, you know grovel and shake hands and be all smiles only for him to then afterwards put out a statement being like yeah we we said no uh, to Anton rain and then and then we look like a, a fool for it, you know uh, uh, health or the uh, the irony is that when uh, I mean, it's, it's funny because I was thinking about this yesterday when all the news about all those PlayStation games uh, came out at PlayStation Showcase. Um, I, can't, I can't think of the last time I played a video game just for the sake of playing a video game. <laughs> playing video games has taken on a whole new meaning uh, since it is, you know, it's the job now. So uh, be careful what you wish for is, is I guess, what I'm saying. Uh, but, uh, I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a busy, uh, there are busy seasons for sure. There are slow seasons for sure. But, uh, but I, I think I've got a healthy enough balance. It could definitely be healthier sometimes, a work-life balance. You know how when they say when you work from home, you end up working a lot more? That's one thing about being your own boss is uh, your boss tends to be a terrible person. Doesn't care for, you know, workers' rights. <laughs> My boss is a terrible boss. But yeah, let's uh, I'll see what happens over here. I won't be joining. It's time we're on our way back home. His eyes widened in surprise. Really? But this is customary. Every Swordish president before you has done this. This won't sit well with us. I must insist we follow the protocol. Oh, wait, this won't sit well with... Okay, look, man, I'm like, honestly, if I wasn't on mic, like if I didn't need to be on mic for a stream right now, I'd be pacing the room in, in like frustration. I'm literally like leaning from foot to foot because I'm so annoyed at this guy right now. This won't sit well with you. Who, 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 what? Who, what? What? You literally just dragged us for at least, I would say, an hour flight. And you gotta, I mean, you know, uh, an hour flight's not really an hour, right? It's a long ordeal flying to a place, especially in the 50s. You drag us here, and then you dare say this won't sit well with you? Find a cliff? And please just dive off it, buddy. Oh my god. I won't say it twice. Jesus, with a gall on this guy, man. The gall on this guy. <laughs> oh, Natalie, I don't see it that way. I see myself as uh, as, <laughs> as the boss. <laughs> Classified. No, oh, God. 
Uh, I, I, I see, I see the intentional misinterpretation everyone's, uh, everyone's doing about my statement there. Exactly, Halthor, exactly that. We should kill him and feed his corpse to his staff at his... <laughs> what are we, Cartman? <laughs> that makes me think of Cartman, uh, uh, the, the episode where he makes the chili out of that one kid's parents' his body. Fire up the nukes. For real, though. For real. I won't say it twice. This is outrageous. You're not giving confidence to the people of Ignolia right now. Who the... Does this guy understand how diplomacy works? But it is your decision, after all. Very well. I will let them know that you're headed out. See you later, Miss President. We'll be in touch. I should hope not. I got up from my chair. <laughs> you're very welcome to come visit Swordland. I'll, I'll give him the same warm welcome that he gave us. Surely we can arrange something. Don't talk to me about it. Outside, Surge was waiting for me. I got in the car, and we started driving back to the airport. I briefed Simon and David. The way back was mostly silent. I couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief when we touched down on Halsor. Man, I thought this was going to be the challenging conversation. Turns out it was a rather easy conversation. Dude can honestly, honestly, just like, jump off a cliff. Wow. And I, like, the gall on the guy to, to, to straight up be like, no, we're not, well, this is going nowhere. We've wasted your time. But also, you know, let's do the, cus the customary thing. Like, no. What? What? <laughs> At Gaul land? I like it, Natalie. I like it. Ignolian's just fishermen anyway. Yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah, an extended visit to uh, to the rock. Agreed, Ted. Agreed. Being capitalist and autocratic is a tough mix in this game. Definitely feels like it. I hope, uh, I hope the less, like, I hope the lesbians are a bit more, uh, uh, a bit more open to our, uh, our, our friendship. I wouldn't mind having some friends, you know, otherwise Roomberg is going to just walk all over us. I don't think we can You know, you think you've solved a problem. <laughs> you think you've solved a problem. But, uh, but in truth, you have not. Oh, I apologize about these technical difficulties today, folks. I don't know. I, I, uh, I did some stuff, and the stream worked perfectly on Tuesday. Not once did it stop or hiccup or anything like that. And then all of a sudden, today, I don't know if it's just not getting along with Scissorain, if it is foreign actors trying to uh, hurt our, uh, our stream. Sorry about that, folks. But uh, again, I appreciate the, the patience and understanding. It's very frustrating on my end as well, I can assure you that. But we are back. We are back. Prefer the black screen to the lag of the past? At least it's quick, I guess, right? At least it's speedy. I just wish I knew what the problem was so I could fix it. I hate not knowing what the problem is. Nimai D'Souza, how's it going? Having a good day, I hope. Wellen and Swordland's all you need. I don't know about buddying up with Wellen, though. I don't know about buddying up with Wellen. Because, like, what's the point of buddying up with a, a, a rogue state? A failed state, even, you know? failed trade negotiations. The attempt to sign a significant trade deal has failed, causing a negative mood. This is not going to be good for our budget. Though truth be told, I don't think the uh, the deal itself is good for our budget either. Because they really want some uh, some, some uh, what's it called? Uh, oh, what's it called when you when you give people not, I mean, discount is the word we use at, at, like, a, at like a store, but in a trade deal there's a different word for it. Subsidies, I guess is the closest word I can think of. Oh, what's going on at Lenkirk before we look at the newspapers? <laughs> I'm sure they have their opinions. Concessions, concessions. Thank you. That's the word. That is the word. Concessions. That's the one. Uh, rioters arrested. The protests and occasional looting of the past weeks has seized in the city of Lenkirk. Lenkirk police have reported that the situation is now under control and thousands of arrests have been made while quelling the situation. Beautiful. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, trade concessions. Precisely that. Um, all right, we have this is the conversation with Welland down over here. Anything else? I can't wait until the uh, the tracks are done, until the, the railway is done. I really hope that gives us a boost to the economy because I'm a little concerned, truth be told. All right, news, what do you have to say? I'm not looking forward to this. The radical journalist arrested. Oh, damn! <laughs> you know what? I take it back. I am looking forward to this. I'm curious what they have to say to try and defend themselves in their little opinion piece. <laughs> oh, God. The Swordish authorities detained the journalist John Dandern of one of the country's opposition newspapers, The Radical, on Monday for suspected links to the militant organization Red Youth. Earlier today, the police claimed that they discovered Dandern to have close ties with the banned Red Youth organization. 
The police released the reason for the arrest in a statement, claiming that he was suspected of planning a violent attacks against the state. I mean, those are some pretty hefty suspicions. Those are some pretty hefty suspicions. I sincerely hope that uh, uh, that the, the, the radical doesn't try to defend themselves and defend John Dandern uh, and his treasonous ways. Darkness descends. Our respected correspondent and columnist, journalist John Dandern, was arrested among several others yesterday after trying to report on the police's arrests of members of the socialist unions. He was immediately arrested on scene without being given a reason. Oh, it's funny. It's almost like that's how laws work when they've been enacted. Without providing evidence, the prosecutors said the detainees were suspected of committing crimes on behalf of red youth militants who Hallsword has accused of organizing terrorist attacks and a coup attempt against the Swordish government. Dandern was known for his heavy criticisms of the government and has reported many significant stories which the government wished remained secret. As journalists who fought for the truth, we are perfectly aware of the real reasons behind this arrest. Today, darkness has descended on the radical. We have lost a great journalist. It is a dark day for journalism in Swordland. We, the team here at the Radical, condemn this arrest and ask the government to reevaluate their decisions. We ask that Dandern be released, and we promise to the Swordish people that nothing will stop us from sharing the truth with you. We will not be silenced. The morning will come. You see, first of all, they dropped a U in mourning, uh, at least for their newspaper. But uh, you know that, that, that line, uh, a, a, a true king doesn't have to say they're a king or, 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 or however it goes exactly, I forget. How many times do they mention John Dandern, the journalist? Journalist John Dandern, uh, journalist who fought for the truth, uh, great journalist, journalist, like, who, who, you, who are you lying to, buddy? Who are you lying to? Come on, be honest with yourself. Geopolitical, okay, here we go. Hegel, Van Horten is playing with fire. You know what? You know what? I might actually buddy up with Volksland just to screw Agnolia. Like, we won't, like, align ourselves, of course, with the communists, but I feel like just, just in, like, the public spaces, in, 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 in public politics, or, or however you want to phrase it, I think we might just buddy up with Volksland. Yesterday morning, Chancellor of Volksland Hegel delivered a press conference in Helm about the escalating tensions in Helgeland. During the press release, he said, Agnolia's unlawful occupation of the island will not stop us from doing whatever it takes to protect our people living in Helgeland. He heavily criticized and condemned Prime Minister Van Horten, saying, We are dealing with an illegal occupation force which doesn't refrain from entering our territorial waters without asking our permission. Van Horten is playing with fire, and if he is not careful, he might get burned said Hegel. Geopolitical will be watching the developments closely. What do you guys think? What, what do you guys think about that? I feel like, uh, I, I, I feel like there's a, uh, there's an angle there. There's a way to, uh, to, 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 to get some serious vengeance. I mean, that's a really escalating situation. Think of the oil. Are we talking about, uh, Lesbia there? A small act is a reasonable man. Mm. Is he? <laughs> is he? Uh, you don't arrest rioters, you shoot them in the street like the dogs they are. Well, no, no, you arrest them so that they can help with, uh, you know, making license plates and, uh, and, and helping, uh, you know, mill uh, pipes and things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Natalie, 31 watching, 28 likes. Arrest the three who haven't liked the stream. That's, uh, thanks for, for bringing it to my attention. Uh, not, not so that I can arrest people, but folks, again, if you've been having a good time with the stream, if you enjoy these streams in general, whether you're watching live or you're watching the VOD, don't hesitate to, to hit that like button and let me know. Again, it's part of the reason why we got this second uh, you know, season, if you will, of Sizzle Rain, uh, because of the uh, response to the first one and the requests for a second one. It's a good way to, to you know, kind of have your voice heard on the channel. But thanks for the reminder there. Really unfortunate we can't recognize Vogsland's claims to Helgeland. I feel like we might be able to. I want to see if the opportunity comes up, because I think we will. Hegel is hilarious. He is pretty funny. He's a bit of a character, isn't he? He is pretty funny. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, indeed. I, I think we might do that. Again, not to buddy up with the communists, but just, you know, it's like, yeah, this is an occupation. That one line alone will send ripples through the entire Markian Sea. But we're, we're headed down to Welland, not to the Markian Sea right now. I don't think we can buddy up with these guys. They're a problem. As much as we agree with some of their policies, they, they have nothing to offer us, you know? The enemy of the guy who snubbed us is also our friend. Exactly. 
I wish we could capture him and have him rot in the black cells, Wickles. I wish. <laughs> the island just should be ours. The, the real oil barons are in Lespia, though. So that, that's why I'm kind of like, let Wellen rot. We'll see. We'll see how this conversation goes. Swordland 1's flight from Halsword to Raklovitz took approximately five hours, despite heavy turbulence. I managed to sleep a little. Man, okay, hold on. Just really quickly here. Sorry, not to like belabor this point. Five hours to get down to there from Halsword, right? This is... Yeah, this is about equidistant. That was about a five-hour flight. That was about a five-hour flight. Well, Stallport's down there, actually. Maybe a four-hour flight. Plus, you know, luggage and all that kind of crap. I imagine we were planning on staying for at least a couple of days. You know, check out the city. All the packing. All the... I'm, I'm, I'm legitimately... Me, party elite, is legitimately, like, insulted. <laughs> God damn. Oh. God damn. All right. Along with Simon and David, we landed at the international airport of the capital city of Welland. Our aim here was to finalize the trade deal drafted in between Swordland and Welland. So again, we can trade with him, but I don't want to support any of his more nefarious policies. Even though we have similar policies, uh, again, public image, right? Matters a lot to a despot. Man, it matters a lot to a despot. Shortly after our plane landed, the door opened and the sun blinded me for a moment. I stepped outside. I saw the soldiers lined up on either side of a red carpet. There must have been at least a hundred soldiers. The marching band started playing and the soldiers immediately saluted me. I salute the soldiers, of course. At the bottom of the stairs, Victor Smolak was waiting for me next to a military jeep with a few soldiers by his side. There were a few reporters on the side, waiting with their cameras. This is a proper welcome. This is a proper welcome. How, Thor, you should have people who pack for you. No, 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 you gotta, you gotta pack yourself, right? Isn't that what the airport security always asks? I wonder, though, do, I mean, I imagine, uh, heads of state pack their own luggage as well, right? Right? Y you expect that level of privacy, right? I don't know, does somebody else pack for you? I don't know. <laughs> the sun blinded you? Have it shot at once. <laughs> the Uber Jammer, how's it going, buddy? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I just Swordland launches ICBM directed at the sun. Vengeance for blinding the uh, the, the president. Um, okay. <laughs> he was a tall man, almost as tall as me. He was wearing large sunglasses and his attire was a regular suit, contrasting with the military attire of everyone else in the field. Mr. President, welcome to Raklovitz. He immediately motioned for an embrace. We hugged and many cameras went off at the same time. He turned around for a couple of additional poses. He is a poser. Uh, nice to see you. Pull him aside for a couple more poses yourself. <laughs> Just like this uh, alpha contest going on over here. Nice to see you, Mr. President. Yeah, nice to see you, Mr. President. We'll, we'll be nice to him. He hasn't been rude to us or anything. He's been here to welcome us. Now that the pleasantries are done, let's go! We'll take the jeep for a tour. With another tune from the marching band, we boarded the military jeep. He sat in the driver's seat, and I sat next to him. As we started speeding up, the soldiers saluted again, and Victor Smolak saluted back. Is it... Mm, so this is an interesting... Uh, is it my place to salute them as well, or should I do nothing? I don't want to... I don't want to offend the guy. As much as I don't care for him and some of his policies, if we can get a trade deal here, that would be good. Uh, but I would like it to just be the trade deal. No, no, no funny business. I need a quick sip of water over here, folks. I'm losing my voice. But uh, yeah, do we salute them or do we just kind of like do nothing? Is it is it more polite to salute, or 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 is it not our place, right? Because there's a chain of command. We saluted them at first because he didn't salute. That salute was for us. You know what I mean? Would it be appropriate? Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it's like if the because uh, there's a there's a hierarchy to these things, right? Give them a puppy. <laughs> At least they'll take care of them. All right, let's salute them. It sounds like consensus is uh, more salute than not. So, salute the soldiers. My security detail and Victor's security detail started following us immediately along with a team of reporters. We'll first go to the city center to see the opening of a statue. Sounds 
exciting. Whose statue? Let's not be naive. Let's not be naive. Yeah, puppies for all. That's how, that's how you win a re-election. That's how you win a re-election. This rain will salute if he wants. That's true, too. It's, I don't give a damn about your, uh, your hierarchy. Every salute is meant for me. Uh, only way to piss him off is to be... To, to be pro-Arcasia? Oh, is that so? <laughs> Puppy diplomacy. Oh, dear lord. I love it. Puppy diplomacy? Are you kidding me? Yo, I would... I would sign up to be a diplomat right away if that's how diplomacy actually worked. <laughs> this is an important occasion for Wallet. I'm sure you will like it. We kept making small talk about the flight and the weather until we reached... Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> little typo over here. We kept making small talk about the flight and the weather. We started making our way into the city center. I'm guessing here. On almost every corner, there were reporters taking photos of us. Oddly enough, every single street that we took seemed completely empty. Ah, uh, ooh, these are all kind of like pointed questions. Uh, I think a little bit of like pretending to be dumb is, is the right option here. This is a little aggressive, you know, calling out his, uh, well, what he's obviously doing. Uh, this makes it sound like we're bored. Could be a little friendly here. Could be a little friendly here. One is the most appreciative. Yeah. <laughs> this is the least uh, unappreciative, I guess. Oh, oh, you mean the sound's exciting? Sorry. Is Raklovitz always this empty? I had the locals close down their businesses because of your visit so that you can enjoy the city more. See, what a man. There we are. We arrived at the city center. In the middle of a large plaza, there was a covered statue. Lots of people had gathered behind fences, and they were waving both Swordland and Welland flags. Victor waved back at him. My people have been very supportive of this visit, Mr. President. I am sure you are delighted to see. A man came closer to the fences and started yelling at Victor. With my limited knowledge of the Wessex language, I understood the words Victor and Murderer. Almost instantaneously, two soldiers showed up from behind the man, and he was taken away. Well done. Thankfully, the sun is up. Today will be a good day for the reveal. I see that you know how to handle dissidents. Very good. I think we should just, yeah, kind of lean into it, right? I think him and I can get along very well, and then we don't have to worry about, again, any funny business. I see that you know how to handle dissidents. Very good. I'm glad you approve. We're of the same mind. See? I knew we would get along fine. We took our places in front of the statue. With a drum roll, the statue of Victor Smolak was uncovered. The statue was done pretty well, except that he was made more masculine. He was wearing a cloak and holding a sword in his hand. Excellent statue. Very lifelike. What do you think? Um, our artists can do better. I saw the request come through to, 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 to talk down to his artists. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I, I feel like... Uh, I feel like a bit of sarcasm is, 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 okay, I see another, another call for our artists can do better. <laughs> it just seems so, I, I, <laughs> it seems so out of, out of place, you know? A sword, not a puppy. I know, it's a useless statue. Maybe they could reshape the sword into a puppy. Puff him up a bit, says classified. A couple more calls for three. <laughs> the Uber jammer. Don't, once you, once you leave, I'm sure he'll reopen the shops and bury all the bodies. Oh, yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. <laughs> the true sword is handling of dissidents, very lifelike. <laughs> yeah, I know. Two, two, two feels like yeah. I, I think this is garbage, but I'm, uh, I'm, I'm too, too proper to say it. Yeah, rain upset from the jet lag. I guess a little bit. Give him a puppy as your vote from now for now forward, Wickles. Duly noted. <laughs> Better than abstaining. Ah. <laughs> uh. Sure, you know, I see enough calls for three, and I'm on the fence enough. Here, yeah. Yeah, it's a, you know, our, our artists can do better in Swordland. Maybe you should have one commissioned. His face soured. <laughs> well, then I'd like to contact one. There we go. Okay, you know what? I like this guy. <laughs> he turned to the soldiers around and started yelling at them in Wessex. Soldiers covered the statue again. Oh, wow. For real? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, you know what? I'm glad we went with that option. 
<laughs> yeah, that's that's fair, Natalie. Abstain is a classic, but would you rather abstain or would you rather vote for a puppy? <laughs> this is hilarious. I didn't think you'd cover the statue up again. This is amazing. Join me for a walk. <laughs> this is how we die. <laughs> you insulted my statue. Now die in this alley. I followed him through the streets. At every corner, more and more photos were taken. We stopped in front of a pastry vendor on the street. Give me two strudels. The man behind the stand smiled and gave us two strudels. Um... I should probably wait, right? This is not our place. The artists are definitely dead. Oh no, Jazzy B, you're so right. Whoever sculpted this is definitely dead. 100%. We just signed their death warrant, man. You're so right. <laughs> you're so right. <laughs> oh no. Natalie P. Alright, fair. You know what? You win. <laughs> I, I, The abstain has a time and a place, and that time and place might be everywhere and always. <laughs> <laughs> they make better strudels in Swordland. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'll, I'll wait for him to paint the street better. They make better <laughs> Just like, don't even take a bite. Just be like, eh, we make them better back at home. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Um, it will, oh, I wish that was an option. <laughs> I waited for him to pay the street vendor. He simply took the two strudels and didn't pay anything. Oh, that's awkward. It's not my place. It's not my place, but we're gonna keep walking. Like, I don't want to offend him. I don't want to make him look smaller than he already is. So we'll, uh, we'll keep walking. <laughs> better, <laughs> better students in sword. I can't, I, that's goddamn killing me. Uh, I kept walking alongside Victor. Afterwards, <laughs> we walked a short distance to the palace. Yeah, I guess that this is how it's done, yeah? The vendors give food uh, free out of admiration, exactly. Strudel vendor can feed his family with strudel. No worries there. Yeah, that's a good point. It's like, what do you need money for? What, to feed your family? <laughs> Just point at the strudels. I mean, yeah, we make them better at home, but, you know, whatever. It'll be fine for your family. All right, so afterwards, we walked a short distance to the palace. Passing the gates of the palace, we made our way into the main building made from ivory-colored stones. The old guard towers flanked the magnificent main building from both sides. The inside of the palace was very spacious, with a very large chandelier hanging from the ceiling. Grand staircases made from the same ivory stone had red carpets on them. On both sides to the upper level, guards stood with the traditional outfits of the old Wessex kingdoms. We finally reached the office of the President of Wellen. Sorry, of the President of Wellen. There's only one. The door closed behind us. The interior boasted gold ornaments on the walls, ivory colors, and various jewels attached to different artifacts of old. As was customary in Welland, we sat down on the carpet. Now we can talk about our trade deal. Finally, get into business. Ah, uh, yeah, finally. But before that, God damn it! <laughs> he clapped his hands twice, but you got a clapper installed. Bring the Keisha. Which I assume is a shisha equivalent, right? Yeah, if I recall correctly. A few assistants immediately entered the room, carrying a large ornamented quiche, the well-known smoking instrument originating from Welland. They immediately lit it up, and the room was filled with the smell of tobacco. He inhaled the smoke and handed me the quiche. Yeah, of course I'll partake. It was probably the highest quality tobacco I'd ever smoked. I handed it back. He took another puff, filling the room with more smoke. Puff, puff, pass. Very simple. Almost as good as a cigar. Mmm. What do I prefer? I mean, again, I assume a quiche is a, is, is a shisha, or argila, or hookah, depending on which part of the world you hail from, or are referencing. But, uh, but I assume that's exactly what it is, right? Just, a, just the same, same setup. Well, then took lesbian companies, which is why they could give no tariff oil trade. Sorry, uh, I don't follow that, but uh, how do you mean? 
Walter Tusk would approve of this meeting. Oh, yeah, he would. Exactly, Halthor, exactly. They know how to conduct business over here, apparently. <laughs> I feel so bad, but I'm too jested to be sad. What, for the, uh, the, the poor artist that, 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 that made the statue? Dude, he's probably already dead. He's on a plane to, like, yeah, the middle of nowhere. So, Mr. President. Ah, it's too long. Uh, can I call you Anton? How friendly do I want to be with this guy? I think I could say sure. It's like, I don't like it. But I don't want to make a whole, you know, to-do out of it, you know? He's been friendly enough, right? He's, he literally drove us around the city. Literally, he acted as our chauffeur, so... I feel like we could, we could be a little bit softer. We did also just insult his statue. Sure. We, we, can, we can be friendly. He gave us strudel, yeah. We're on we're on first on a first name basis now because of the the strudel. <laughs> Anton, I know you have put an embargo on them, and I congratulate you for standing up to Rumberg. But let me ask you a question: What do you really think about Rumberg? They are a threat that needs to be dealt with. They can go to hell, or a barking dog doesn't bite. That is not true. I can tell you that <laughs> from personal experience. Uh, a barking dog will bite. They're a threat that needs to be dealt with. They can go to hell. I'm kind of tempted to go with the three. They can go to hell. I feel like two makes it seem like we're a little concerned. I guess. Screw the roomies. Yeah, exactly. Roomies or rummies? I feel like rummy. Rummy sounds more. You know, it's it's an English. It's it's a British allegory, right? So it sounds rummy. Rummy sounds a bit more <laughs> British. <laughs> it's also a card game, right? Rummy. Just ask the guy with. What he wants, this is drawn out, I guess so. Don't insult his stature, he's, you've already insulted his statue. <laughs> smooth, smooth. Yeah, they can go to hell. Exactly. To hell with Rumberg. I like you already, Anton. I assure you, their time will come. Uh, <laughs> are you planning something now? Um, in due time, yes. Sure, let's puff each other up a little bit. For now, I have something else in mind. I'm listening. He clapped his hands again. Two assistants came in the room with a map of the border regions in between Welland and Sorkin. He pointed at the border. Look. Bloods and their so-called BFF are causing problems for me in this region. I know that they're also a problem for you. I will not allow these traitors to exist in my border, so I will hit them with all the might of Welland. These terrorists need to be destroyed. I call it Operation Bear Trap. See, this is the thing. I don't. The 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 way I see it, the way I see it, is there should be a demilitarized zone between our our, our, our borders. Well, I don't want anybody's army that close to our border. It's a sign of aggression. I don't like it. So I'm kind of tempted to say I don't support any military action that's close to our borders. You want to sequester these people? You want to like line them up against the wall and gun them down? You do that. You do that. You know, in your neck of the woods. Don't do that over here. Don't, don't do that over here. Don't do that near us. No worries, man. No worries. We, uh... We just, uh... But, again, did our traditional... Our, our, our good old uh, build them up and tear them down with, uh... With, uh... With, uh... Smolak here. Though a little less, maybe, than uh, we did with... Van Horten. We're united against the Bloods, and he gave us a proper reception. Unlike Martin, he's a true ally and gentleman. <laughs> be hitting them with strudels and bad sculpture. I mean, that's a good way to run anybody out of your nation, right? They should let our superior troops in. Massacre? Do that on your own time, exactly. I mean, I, I could say I like the sound of it. I, I could say I like the sound of it, but not offer to cooperate, you know, in, in any way that he's, uh... He might push for. Danny B, you mean, uh, Suzerain? It is, it, is, it is a gem, if that's what you mean. I do agree. Lil Nevy, thank you very much for subscribing. I hope you're enjoying the show. If you are again, you know what to do. Let me know down below. Hit that like button. Don't hesitate to join the Discord either, whether you're new here or if you've you know, been around for a while. Join that Discord. Fantastic place to hang out. Uh, yeah. I, can, uh, I mean, yeah, they're terrorists. But so the concern is uh, it's, 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 it's a military operation. It's a cross-border military operation. That is an escalation 
from purely internal affairs. See if they're doing okay. So okay, it's a couple things. It's a couple things. Let's 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 break this down because this is an important decision, and uh, there's a lo lot of reasons why not to support this. When there is tension like this across the border, that population and the troubles that come with it have to flow somewhere. There is already an existing Bluish population in our nation, so that will naturally flow towards us. Now, some of that flow will be through illegal border crossings, and it'll cause us trouble, and we'll have to, sure, you know, we put up more guards, we divert the military from the threat of the north, let's not forget Rumberg, so we're diverting military assets to, you know, strengthen this border to prevent the flow of, uh, of refugees who are walking across the border. And at the same time, you're going to have people who will fly into the nation as well. You're going to have people who, you know, have their visas, have all their paperwork, flying over the border to get into our nation perfectly legally to run away from this persecution. They might be Bluds or they might be Bluish um, supporters, sympathizers, right? So by allowing this military action to happen, we're actually making the situation worse for us. We're in the process of taking care of the Bluds on our side of the border. We've got our internal, you know, uh, orders. We've got the emergency going on, and we're actually putting these guys in their place. We've got uh, the, the 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 politicians being shut down. We've got people being thrown in jail. We've got uh, uh, riots being shut down. And now all of a sudden, we're going to allow the injection of more blues into the nation. It's just going to escalate our troubles because now this waning political movement in our nation is going to get some newfound passion, right? And it could get international support. If we become a part of this right now, we are quietly, uh, let's say, taking care of the Bluts. But if we were to get involved in an international thing like this Operation Bear Trap, if we were to allow it to happen and, and give it our thumbs up, then all of a sudden it's gone from being an internal conversation to an international conversation. And that's when people start to get involved and interested in what should really just be our decision, our uh, uh, you know, it's our business. It's our nation. It's our business. Let us handle it. But obviously, if we escalate to an international bit of business, then everybody gets involved. That's my hesitation. That's my hesitation. Yes, it's a joint operation, but it's not to our favor because we're already doing a good job. We're already doing a good job. <laughs> yeah, build a wall because that—that's—that's that's always been known to work. <laughs> It, oh, no, International totally does care, though. I mean, again, Lesbia, right? Those guys have money. And let's not forget, I'm a despot. I like money. I like money. I could say I like the sound of it, but not participate. I don't know. I, f I, f I feel, you know what? I feel like I, I feel like when I say I don't support any military action that's close to our borders. And he'll, he'll have to deal. What a rain train of thought. I love it. Just say you didn't know. I don't think ignorance works in the in the court of international opinion, international public opinion. I'm gonna go with uh, I don't support any military action that's close to our borders. It infringes on uh, on the safety of our people, forcing more of these bloods across the border into our territory while we're solving our problem. You solve your problem yourself, Mr. Smolak. He lay back on the large pillow behind him. Here's the deal. I will give you the best trade deal in the region. You will give me your assistance crushing the terrorists on both of our borders. How, see, how does this benefit us? How does this doesn't benefit us? It's not. It's not an easy win, though. It, it, it's so much worse for us. It's so much worse for us. Because again, we'll just get more blues. Fine. I need specifics. What do you mean? I'm willing to have this conversation. We can get oil elsewhere. I. I uh, <laughs> maybe we should assist him. Ah. God damn. This is always a tough one. My spies have infiltrated BFF cells. They found caches of KA-74. We traced them back to Roomberg. This alone justifies my retaliation to protect my country. Worst of all, 
we also found that similar shipments are going to Swordland. Yes, Anton, you see, this is not just Welland's problem. Let's take a step back and talk about what you will get in return. Okay, fine. Let's. Let's. I propose you a no-tariff agreement, co-investment projects, and oil. In return, you will assist me in destroying the terrorists in my country. Ugh. Ugh. Let's have this conversation through, right? Let's have this conversation properly through. And maybe we do end up supporting him because it is a good deal. <laughs> Ted Knight coming through with that super chat. Thank you very much, buddy. Don't listen to me. I seek only chaos for this playthrough. Loving the stream, mate. Thank you very much, buddy. I appreciate it greatly. I appreciate the super chat and I appreciate the uh, support as well. Uh, as you very well know, both of those really help support the uh, streams. Keep it all sustainable. Keep, keep me alive and running smoothly as it were. So appreciate it greatly, bud. It, do, it, it does fit our vibe if we go this way. It's kind of funny to think that our, our non-evil run, we, like, almost without hesitance uh, <laughs> signed on to Genocide, whereas now playing as a despot, we're a bit more hesitant. What? <laughs> okay, let's, let's have this conversation through. Fine, maybe, maybe, we'll, maybe, we will, maybe we will join in on this party. Uh, there might be international ramifications. Again, I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to, like, play as this Anton, right? Like, he hasn't had this conversation yet. Let's have the conversation. It also lets us kind of see uh, what other, you know, threads there are in, 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 in the game. I'm talking meta there for a second. There might be international ramifications. To hell with international ramifications. I'll protect my country. I don't care what they say. Okay, I can get behind that. What I want from you in return for all the money and resources is a joint operation in between our armies against BFF. I took a moment to think about it. Oh, man. I mean... Oh. We, we might be able to quell international uh, sentiment afterwards. I might be able to figure it out. Join the bear trap. Kind of depends on how imminent the military problem is. My, I'm a little concerned about diverting military assets, but I'm sure we have some here anyway. We just gotta, like, reorganize a bit, I suppose. The only good terrorist is a dead one? I mean, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Being aggressive is just a matter of Swordland tradition. <laughs> okay, fair, 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 fair. All right, well, we're back again, but this time... This time... <laughs> Remember how, uh, like last week, at one point, Streamlabs would uh, would stop showing the game completely. We're we're back there now. Now it's now it's now it's chosen not to not to show the game, even though we're 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 back we're back live. Come on, Streamlabs. Come on, buddy. You know how this works. Come on. There it is. There we go. Yeah, I just had to like alt tab like three or four times. It worked last time, so I was like, let's do it again. <laughs> Black screen for 30 more minutes. Yeah, I'll, I'll just narrate everything to you. I'm moving the mouse to the bottom left corner of the screen. Um, I couldn't bear it if we didn't take part. Oh my. Yeah, I think we should be. I think. I think. I think he he does raise some good points. I also take Anton to kind of be the type of person who gets uh, what's it called like taken in by the theatrics and and the camaraderie and and like ah to hell with the international ramifications i'll protect my country and then you know anton would be like yeah he's right you know <laughs> and, and get drawn in by that um let's negotiate swordland's contribution in this operation we could have this conversation through right we could we could we could we could see exactly how he wants us involved how was it a joint operation between our armies? Oh, okay, let's let's negotiate Swordland's contribution to this operation. Or should we just go in for it? You know what? Like I was saying, I think we'd get kinda drawn in by the by the by the statements being made over here. Return for all the money and the resources. Money sounds good. Nah. I might be I might be a I might be greedy, but I'm not I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. Let's negotiate Swordland's contribution to this operation. You're a tough one, Anton. Normally, I wouldn't offer anything else, but I like you. Here's my final offer. When the operation starts, with you or without you, there will be stragglers trying to cross into Swordland. We just want you to support the operation, even if you do not join. 
stop the terrorists from fleeing into your country, and you'll have your deal. Simple, isn't it? So what do you think? Okay, that, see that, I can go, get behind, I can get behind that, because that, that's just me protecting my borders. There's people coming through, we have closed borders, that's, that's fine, that's fine, right? Nothing to, nothing to complain about there? Sure, deal. <laughs> here, we, here we go again. <laughs> here we go again. <laughs> deal. I knew I could trust you, Anton. Tonight, we will drink. He clapped his hands again. Drinks, dancers, music. A group of dancers and performers entered the smoke-filled room. As they performed their songs, we clinked our glasses to our newly found partnership while sipping the sweet Wessex liquor. The next day, I returned to Swordland with a hangover. At least one successful trip there. You know, I love how he had like, it's like you can imagine just outside the doors, he had people lined up. First set of claps, first group of people, second set of claps, second group of people, third set of claps, third group of people. <laughs> He's had it set up. All right, I think that went uh, well, en well enough. Well, huh? Well, well enough, huh? Come on, well enough, come on. That's all right. You know what? <laughs> Even I didn't know where I was going until I went there. I'm pretty happy with that one. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm pretty pleased with that one. Well enough. Goddamn. Narbel arrest report. Where's Peter? <laughs> I think we know the answer to that question. Well done. Oof, Uber Jammer. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> in with the booze. In with the booze. I love it. <laughs> Those booze just empower me. <laughs> arrest report. The chief, the chief of police, Carl Griezer, reports that over a thousand people were arrested in Narval in relation to the operations against national security threats. According to the report, the situation in Narval and the surrounding region is under the control of the police. Excellent. Things are going so well. <laughs> that one is making my eyes well up, I guess, classified. Such a, such a proud dad. Well, thank you, Wiggles. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere out there, question mark. Oh, God. A fire squad set up for the no deal option? How do you mean? Like for ourselves, Michael? <laughs> he just guns us down the way. I do wonder if he's going to follow up on that statue. I do wonder. I'd be curious to see if he if he follows up on that. Oh, also, we have over here our uh, economy. Recovered trade volume. Okay. Recent successful efforts in signing a new comprehensive trade deal has recovered the trade volume of Sorland to pre-recession levels. Okay, that's actually huge. That's actually pretty big. Wellen border defense. Additional military forces are moving to reinforce the border between us and Wellen. And as far as diplomacy is concerned, tariff-free oil trade with Wellen. As per the agreement, all oil imports from Wellen are tariff-free. That's also going to be very helpful for you know war should it come. That does uh, that does uh, that does work. That does work. You gotta need to build new prisons soon. Yeah, for real. We, we're getting a lot. Every time it comes up, it's like a thousand new prisoners, eh? Uh, Volgan, what's going on here? Surveillance report. The Swordish Intelligence Directorate reported that the city of Volgan is housing a large number of people who may pose a threat to Swordish national security. The Directorate has issued the permission to wiretap any landlines in the city. Wow. A man was arrested under suspicion of spying for Lesbia. Interrogation is underway. Spies in our nation? Can you imagine having spies in our nation? Madness. Madness. Hopefully that's the only spy in our nation. Uh, we have some news and then the Hall Sword. The Hall Sword post. Swordland ratified a new trade agreement with Wellen. Swordland ratified a new trade agreement and an investment protection agreement with Wellen. This is a significant development that shows a significant normalization of swordish Wesek relations after decades of troubles. At the most basic level, the agreements will support jobs and growth between the two nations and ensure that Swordland will be buying Wesek oil for a cheaper price. The agreements will gradually reduce most tariffs and regulatory barriers, creating new opportunities for Swordish entrepreneurs to do business and invest in Wesek. The negotiations also included a cooperation pact against the terrorist organization, Bluish Freedom Front. I do like how they like phrase it and stuff, because I'm pretty sure in our previous playthrough they weren't so... Uh positive on it. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Someone going undercover in Swordland? Not possible. Impossible. Security's too good. Lesbian spies, no doubt. I mean, it could be. It could be, uh, you know, uh, what's their name? Arcasia? Arcasian interests being uh, poked at? 
<laughs> we do background checks on all of our government employees. We definitely check something out on all of our employees. All right, Halsword, what do you have for me? Emergency decree could be extended or revoked. Oh, is this even a question? <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Of course we're extending it. We haven't yet secured our, uh, our re-election. Re-election, air quotes. The emergency decree helped stabilize the country to a certain degree, but the opposition is growing. The continuous usage of special powers has been opposed by Minister Morgna, while Chief Justice Hawker has argued that the security situation hasn't fully resolved and is demanding an extension to fully stabilize the country. Should we extend or end the emergency? I mean, I think this goes without saying, right? I think we're going to extend this, right? There's no reason... Well, why would we revoke it? The job's not been done. Well, exactly, we'll probably get, like, immediately impeached if we remove it, like, instant impeachment. Ricky, cool, how's it going, buddy? Glad you can make it. Having a good Friday, I hope. Okay, you can definitely hear that hammering. <laughs> Upstairs renovations kicking in, it feels like. Alright, it sounds like they're maybe maybe done. Something was like one nope, nope, they're back. God damn it. You only do so much to try and uh, make a room uh soundproof when you're uh <laughs> when you're living in, in a condo. It's faint? Okay. That's good, as long as it's faint, as long as it's not too, uh, too annoying. Let me know, folks. Let me know if it's terrible. Such a shame that Chief Justice Hawker has decided to retire. <laughs> Hot damn, that's loud. There's not much I can do about that, unfortunately. No, no, it's the upstairs neighbors. Had a very nice chicken curry ticker just now. Ooh. Oh, trying to make me hungry here. Barely knows walk. That's good. Does Hawker like strudel? I just carried that strudel over from across the border. Couldn't be bothered to eat it myself. Yeah. Uh, no, well, I think we'll extend it. There's no reason to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haw Hawker is supporting the extension. Yeah. Yeah, we'll extend it. Of course we will. Our job's not done yet. It's hardly a question. Hardly a question. Even though I deliberated it for like two minutes. Blame that on uh, the upstairs neighbors. <laughs> Assembly session on the Emergency Act. Another one? Must we talk about this more? Must we? A session of the Grand National Assembly was in order because of the continued... Yo, that's really loud. It's starting to annoy me. Um, a session of the Grand National Assembly was in order because of the continued discussion about the emergency. The opposition wanted to declare it null and void. Well, we're having a serious talk here. This is, this is a serious talk. I was seated in one of the seats reserved for the Council of Ministers, which was positioned slightly higher than the rest of the seats and had an angle that made for a clear view of the whole place. I glanced down at the USP seats and casually watched the people inside as Gloria announced the next speaker before the vote to revoke the decree. It's just a reminder to bring the hammer down. I like it. They're working on Small X new statue. <laughs> they can't. We, we said extend, right? I didn't mistakenly click revoke. What, what is this nonsense? Get out of here. Mr. Friends Richter from the People's Freedom and Justice Party has the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, a devastating picture has often been painted of the state of affairs prevailing in Sorghum today. As always, in such cases, there is no lack of exaggeration. Considering the extreme measures being taken that completely sets aside our freedoms, no one can fairly demand or expect of us to accept this extension of the Emergency Act. The elections of December have resulted in a majority for the USP, and thus given Mr. Rain the opportunity to govern strictly as laid down in the intention of the Constitution. But where this opportunity is given, it is coupled with obligations. Respecting the laws and listening to criticism is necessary. Not only is the sorry, not only the Assembly's opinion was not asked, the reason for the emergency, nor its extension, were not justified. The president clearly has ideological intentions. This decree was an attempt to destroy the socialist movement. You look back, I did click extend. Okay, I guess we're dealing with this conversation still. Yeah, Richter does have to go. I thought we were investigating these people. Where's the secret police? 
They're, they're, they're doing a good job of the secret part, not so much with the police part. This decree was a declaration of war against the Bluetish people. The president does not even shy away from using divisive words. He has political intentions which will have grave consequences for our country. Ladies and gentlemen of the United Sordon Party, you have claimed to have reformed the party and promised to bring the change people have been asking for. Yet while the workers, the peasants, the white-collar employees, the civil servants, or the businessmen of Swordland have their own troubles and demands from us, you go about fighting wars with enemies that don't exist. Everybody expected of you to rewrite the outdated constitution of Tarkin Saul. Now we have an emergency on our hands, which is fabricated to create a justification for the lack of reforms of the government, and their apparent hunger for authority. Loud applause came from the opposition. Ah, oh, this is not good. I don't like this. This is not good. <laughs> he makes some good points. But, I mean, oh, what a madman. Insanity. Yep, rip again. <laughs> and now they're starting to saw up there. Oh, my God. It's, it's, uh, it's unfortunate. I was hoping they were done because they'd been quiet for the last little while. This is this is what I deal with. This is what I deal with. <laughs> this is what I have to work around sometimes. All right, we're back. We're back. We're back. Uh, this this is a little concerning though. There's a lot of uh, seems like there's a fair bit of support over here. It does sound like Bluetish um, propaganda exactly. <laughs> Shovel a strudel in his mouth and shut him up. I wish. Put a gun in his mouth and shut him up. <laughs> Stream doesn't want to hear Richter either. Yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think? I wonder... The stand up and yell at him is not, is not the option I'm going to go with. Ask Gloria for a moment to respond. <laughs> Ted Knight, stand up and yell at him. Nice try. <laughs> nice try. We could stay quiet. I mean, I, I, I could wait and see what uh, the Chief Justice has to say. I, I, I imagine he's involved. I, I don't know, though. Is, is this... The Grand National Assembly isn't the place for him, so he wouldn't be here. He'd, he'll, he'll approve it finally when the time comes, but he, he wouldn't actually be here, I don't think. But I think, yeah, maybe in, now that I've considered that, yeah, yeah, I think, Jazzy, you got a point there. Before we lose control, let's ask for a moment to respond. I think three would be the most dignified response to that night. <laughs> puppy? Yeah, throw a puppy at him. Yeah, okay, you know what? We should, we should ask for a moment to respond. The problems have not yet been solved. We are confident in our in our decision here. We have to justify it before uh, the people on our side go like, why didn't uh, why didn't Anton say anything? I gestured at Gloria to ask for an opportunity to respond to Friends Richter. Gloria looked at me and nodded. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Richter, but the president has asked for an opportunity to respond. You have directly addressed the president in your speech, so I shall give him the opportunity to give a brief response. The president has the floor. All right, um, Mr. Richter, who are you to speak about? Oh, do we want to pull the card where he's been uh, secretly visiting our, uh, our, 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 not even our, our friends and our friends and our neighbors? He's flying all the way to Arcasia. I mean, okay, he's been going to Lesbia as well, I think. It, I feel like three is going down that path. <laughs> Natalie's speech. <laughs> um, exactly, Despot got to respond. Yeah, maybe we, we, we call him out. Like, who, who, who are you but one of the enemy yourself? Nothing like a good old-fashioned smear campaign, right? What, goes, what could possibly go wrong with that? I feel like two sounds... Um, two, I agree. Two, two sounds like uh, belittling his, his position. But it also, anybody who is... Anybody who thinks that they are not underestimated, anybody who thinks they have the right assessment, I think won't be swayed by me saying you're underestimating the threat. And I mean, one, I, I, I think it's, a, it's, a, it's easy for them to be like, to call me out on my lies. <laughs> They're very clear political intentions, very clear political intentions. 
the a mixed bag of options. I'm gonna go with the. Uh, I wanna go with. I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna. I'm looking to take a bit of a risk here because I, I feel like we do have enough evidence. I thought we did at least. Uh, we have an investigation going on right now. Besides, I'm assuming where this takes us. I'm assuming where this takes us. Let's uh, let's try, it. Mr. Richter. Who are you to speak about such things? Friends laughed sarcastically. Um. Okay, that. Ah, there we go. We know that Mr. Richter himself has ties with foreign interests. There it is. Did we do it? Chat, what do you think? What do you guys think? Do we go ahead and 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 and, and put it all out there? I say we go for it. I say we go for it. In for a penny. Do it. Do it. Play it. Two, two, two. One and three a week, so two. Puppy or Pope says Wickles. <laughs> go ahead, Potato PC Gamer. How's it going, buddy? CJ, how goes? How goes? General Green, how fair is? A few folks joining in to see this moment come through. Luxia, how's it going? This is the way to do it now. I guess so. Look, if we don't have evidence now, then uh, Carl will will put some together. He'll he'll make some up. A little bit of Photoshop never hurt anybody. We know that Mr. Richter himself has ties with foreign interests. Mr. President, let's keep it brief. Oh, Jesus, Gloria. Um. Oh, damn. I was hoping I could just dramatically pause and the whole assembly would gasp audibly. And then, uh, and then we could move on. Don't be fooled by Mr. Richter's slander. We all know the truth. Or this emergency will show us the real traitors among us. The decree is completely legal is also true. Emergency was a hard decision to make, but it was needed as... Well, it wasn't a hard decision, but... I feel like there's points to be gained there. Three, you need the assembly to vote. Oh, true, yeah, we do need to... We do, we do, we do rely on a vote. Yeah, I know, it's, the, the, the technical issues are getting really frustrating. I don't understand why... After working smoothly on Tuesday, it's now causing issues again. Just be consistent, damn it, Streamlabs. Just be consistent. <laughs> That's all I want. Uh, you're right, though. We do need we do need the people to vote. We do need the people to vote. The emergency was a hard decision to make, but it was needed. Hmm. Well, I I am I'm only part of the USP. The USP. Some of the USP don't stand behind me. Let's not forget, we have reformists in our party as well. I mean, whether we say it here or not, it will come out. True, I guess I could, uh, I, I could, I could double down on, on, uh, on calling out uh, Richter, to, and maybe the assembly will be like, oh yeah, maybe Mr. Richter has a vested interest. In the investigations not continuing that 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 could that could that could work i, I probably do have support of the uh, conservative like the ultra right-wing nationalist front party or whatever they're called all right well we could try it don't be fooled by mr richter's slander we all know the truth god i hope it's uh, i hope it's the same truth that we all know I have to let Mr. Richter continue, Mr. President. God damn it. Mr. Franz Richter has the floor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. President spoke nonsense. I ask for my honorable colleagues to support the PFJP in revoking this emergency here and now. I am talking to the members of the United Swordland Party as well. Do not act partisan in matters with such critical importance. We know that this emergency is a dangerous exaggeration and it can have very grim consequences on our democratic institutions. I wish to trust in your judgment and ask for your help in reaching an absolute majority against this decree. Oh, is that what they need to revoke it? <laughs> yeah, I fear that might have been maybe the wrong choice. We'll see. One man from the USP seats yelled, In your dreams! It made the USP burst in laughter. Okay, thank Okay, good. Good, 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 good. That's promising. When in fact the assembly fails to deliver its duties for the good of the Swordish people, I shall be personally making a case to the Supreme Court about the legality of this emergency. Be my guest, friends. Be my guest. Ladies and gentlemen, we all know that this emergency is unlawful. 
It breaches on the right for a fair trial by giving the state the right to detain anyone without a trial. This is a breach on the democracy as well as the freedoms of men defined in the section 100 of the Constitution. It also denies people's right to assemble and protest. This is a clear breach of freedom of expression and freedom of speech. According to the Constitution, these rights cannot be suspended under any other circumstances than being under invasion. Do any of you see any Rumbergian tanks in Swordland? Are we under bombardment? There is nobody attacking but the state. They are persecuting thousands of innocents under national security threats. Who will stop the president from prosecuting all who oppose him tomorrow? The state is acting illegally. I hereby invite the Supreme Court to duty and ask for them to subject this decree to a proper judicial review and revoke it before it's too late. We must adhere to the basic principles of a constitutional state, to the equality of rights and the concept of social legislation anchored therein. I ask everybody's support in the upcoming vote. Thank you. Mr. Richter walked back to his seat among applause from his party. Next, the Assembly will vote on PFJP's demand to revoke the validity of the emergency. According to the Constitution, the Assembly requires at least two-thirds majority to revoke an emergency declared by the President. Huh. We sh I think we should be fine. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Yeah, Orso said it's lawful, so it's lawful. He is Chief Justice. I'm not, I'm not too concerned. Yeah, blah, 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 exactly. People started to get up from their seats to take their envelopes and cast their votes. Now I'll go to cast my vote as well, of course. I stood up to join the voting. I grabbed the envelope and prepared my vote. Vote I for the fun of it. Okay. No is what we want, because the vote is for the revocation of the emergency. And we're saying, no, we do not want to revoke the emergency. <laughs> Jazzy V, exactly. When would I ever lose an assembly vote? Never. It's never happened. Never happened, never will. <laughs> never happened, never will. Exactly, Ricky Cool. What are they going to do? Protest against the Supreme Leader? Go to court? Dude's a comedian. That's his second career. It would be funny if I lose this vote, wouldn't it? No, no, vote no, vote no, vote no. No. No, we will not revoke the emergency. Vote no. I casted my vote against it. Is casted the past tense of cast? I thought cast was the past tense of cast. Some time has passed when the votes were counted. Suddenly, Gloria's gavel echoed in the hall, which eliminated the carefree attitude that lurked after the voting. See, now is when the upstairs construction should have gone... See, missed their cue. We have 131 eyes and 119 nays. Eyes does not exceed the two-third threshold, so the nays have it. PFJP members started making noises. Rabble, 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 rabble. A lot of people, including friends Richter, demanded to speak. Yes, Mr. Richter. Friends looked directly at me. No decree can give you the power to destroy ideas which are eternal and indestructible. I hail those who are persecuted and in despair. We hail the strong, swordish opposition. Their steadfastness and loyalty are worthy of acclaim. The courage of their convictions, their unbroken faith, are the guarantees of a brighter future. He turned around and went back to his seat. You know, it's promising that he had the speech prepared, clearly. He knew what was coming. He knew what he was uh, going in for. Uh, that was fine. No, that's fine. That went, that went exactly as I expected. A couple people supported his cause. Some people probably voted I as, as a joke, as I almost did. But no, looks like we're good. His brighter future is in jail. Yeah, we'll make sure to give him a, a small window. I don't think there's anything we need to speak about. The job here is done. Why stay here? Right? This guy is just speedrunning his death at this point. Oh my god, I goddamn love it. <laughs> oh my god. Speedrunning his death. For real, can we get that investigation on the fast track, please? I would appreciate it. I don't think there's any reason for us to speak. The assembly has spoken. Uh, some people are opposed to this decree. But in due time, in due time, they will see just how valuable our emergency uh, decree was. When we find out that Friends has been, you know, quote-unquote, cheating on us. Also known as committing treason. Um, when, uh, when, when Roomberg escalates, which I'm sure they'll do. They'll, they'll see. They'll see. I should rub in my victory. 
I see, I see quite a few uh, rub it ins. Uh, okay, fine. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. We'll rub it in. I thought I had better things to do, but no, fair enough, fair enough. I'll ask to speak. Yes, Mr. President. Oh, dude. Should we do this? Should we do two? Let us try to be more civil towards each other. Yo, I think, I think, I think that's it. I, I, I think that's it. <laughs> yeah, I know, Jazzy B. I have, I have slight regrets on my, on my move there, but, uh, but I do like this middle option. I think it is. Yeah, exactly. Chef's kiss, beautiful. <laughs> Just, just to be like, yeah, come on, guys. Like we're, you know, we're in this together for the future of our nation. Let us try to be more civil towards each other. <laughs> I love it. Let us try to be more civil towards each other in these difficult times. Friends watched me with no emotions in his face. Let's put this behind us. We must not deviate from the real enemy. Rest assured, we will handle all the problems. That sounds threatening. I don't want to threaten anybody in uh, the assembly. I condemn Richter's empathy and support for the prosecutor. Okay, that's a weird thing to say. Even if you actually do condemn it, which we do. Ah, uh, that's a very... You don't, you don't say that. Not at this stage. Not at this stage. So two again, indeed. Let's put this behind us. We must not deviate from the real enemy. Mansoon Leak interrupted me. Oh, crap. He's still around? Why isn't he in jail? You talk about difficult times, enemies, and problems, yet all these are products of the Swordish state. The Bluish people are refraining themselves from turning against those who tortured and humiliated them for decades. We only ask to be properly represented in the assembly. You say the decree has nothing to do with political agenda, but all we have are fingers being pointed out again. So you, the speaker has not given you the floor, Mr. Leek. Your people, this, this is why we have no bloods in politics, because you don't know how politics need to be run and done. Workers' Party of Ludia is a completely legal and democratic party that's being supported by millions of Bludish people. I condemn this state for silencing another democratic party again. It seems Swordland has made its choice again. Any attempt to turn back the wheels of time will be in vain. We, the Bluish people, and the democratic socialists are aware that one cannot eliminate the realities of power politics by the simple act of legal protests. We now see the reality of your present rule. But the people's sense of justice also wields political power, Mr. President, and we will never stop appealing to this sense of justice. Order, Mr. Leek! Try to refrain from speaking out of turn. Are you implying violence against the state? Because that sounds an awful lot like violence against the state. I feel like he's kind of showing his hand there. A little bit, don't you think? Just a touch? It sounds like a call for revolution, for violent revolution even. <laughs> he supports the Bloods because he wants the he wants blood. <laughs> the home gang. I'll take him up for that. I'll take him up on that. Take his puppy away. Yeah. Show him who's boss. Um, yeah, are you implying violence against the state? Go ahead. Create any reason to prosecute me, too. Order! This issue has been settled. We'll be moving on to the next topic. Gloria did her best to bring order back to the assembly and proceed with the schedule. After the session, I finally felt at ease when I left the chaos of the assembly behind. It was a tough session, but the opposition failed to revoke the emergency decree in the end which worked perfectly for us. However, Friends was going to disrupt the decree by going to the court. If Orso's promise could be trusted, that would not create issues for us. But I still couldn't keep myself from worrying. Why you gotta do this to me, game? I thought we had it in the bag. Why you gotta do this to me? Oh, man. I, I, I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. Orso has no reason, like, we, we've been working together quite nicely, he has no reason to stab us in the back. No reason to stab us in the back. I will take that victory. I will take that victory, I'll celebrate that victory, and we'll move forward with it into the next turn. Next time. 
folks, this is where we're going to call it a session. A relatively hopeful note to end things on. Hopeful maybe is a strong word. Uh, but as we enter the next chapter, I figure we'll, we'll save that for, for next time. Uh, that'll be again, of course, on Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern, same time as always. Uh, hopefully before that we'll be back on Monday with Crusader Kings 3. Hopefully I'll be able to sleep this Sunday and, uh, and we'll be able to stream on Monday. Uh, but again, Monday, 10 a.m. Eastern time, we'll be back with Crusader Kings 3. And then on Tuesday, back with Phantom Brigade once more. There's some exciting stuff going on uh, that should be releasing over the course of next week uh, on the channel. And then later on today, in just about an hour or so's time, I'll be releasing a new video as well, kicking off a new series that I think many of you will be very interested in, so don't hesitate to check that out today, folks. Uh, when it does drop again in about an hour or so from now is, uh, is when it's going to uh, be releasing. But, uh, folks, I hope you had a good time today because I certainly did. Again, Suzerain is always a good time. Suzerain is always a good time. Make sure that you let me know you had a good time on your way out by hitting that uh, like button uh, because it, it's just something that gives me a good idea. Again, whether you're watching live or you're watching the VOD, it gives me a good idea of... Uh, what people are enjoying on the channel, what you're not enjoying on the channel, what I should change, what I should shift, etc., etc. Again, y'all, y'all know the drill by now, right? Um, but, uh, but yeah, this was a, this was a fun session. This was a tense session. Things went very differently than I'd expected, especially up north, with them just literally dragging us up there for no reason, for no reason. Natalie P coming through with a super chat to wrap us up. Time for a cup of party, indeed it is. Thank you very much for that super chat and for all the super chats today. Again. Natalie, as you very well know, makes such a big difference in supporting these streams and the channel, so I appreciate it greatly. I appreciate all the support today. I appreciate all y'all coming out and hanging out and just, you know, enjoying the, uh, the the beginning of the weekend. I hope y'all have had a, a beautiful, beautiful day so far, and I hope you have a beautiful weekend ahead of you. But of course, before we part ways, no session is truly over before we give a massive thanks to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks to all of y'all for watching. I'm gonna be uh, updating this list over this weekend, of course. We have ourselves a new member today, so thank you very much for joining in as a new member, buddy. And uh, I believe I have uh, at least one other new member as well. And uh, it might, might actually be two new members. I've got a couple new members i got to update this list with and, uh, and get those names in their glorious and rightful positions. Folks, again, if you aren't already in the Discord, Wickles on the ball. They're dropping that Discord link in chat before I even get to it. Love it. Thank you. Don't hesitate to join the Discord. Again, fantastic place to hang out, chill, find people to play video games with, find people to just, you know, yeah, hang out with, really. Don't hesitate to join on in. Potato PC Gamer, have yourself a wonderful night. Love to India, too. <laughs> that is his remedy. 99% hit chance you rolled the one. That sounds like my, that's the story of my life, buddy. That's the story of my life. Oh, the Uber Jammer. We're going to start making lots of Welland puns now, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, as long as we stay on Orso's good side, I think the, this playthrough still has a future. I think we still have a future here. I really am quite pleased with uh, how this session went. Outside of a couple of technical hiccups and, of course, the upstairs renovations that seem to have stopped now. They could have waited just 40 more minutes, but, but they decided not to. But, folks, have yourselves a wonderful Friday. Have yourselves a wonderful weekend. I will catch you on Monday on stream or perhaps in the comments of a video here or there. But until I catch you, Cheers.